In this video I'm going to talk about pH, pOH, H3O plus, OH minus concentration calculations. Formulas I'm using for this video are formula for pH, pOH, pH plus pOH 14, ion product constant formula, H plus uh, concentration formula, OH minus concentration formula. Because the concentration of hydrogen ions and OH ions in aqueous solutions are often very small numbers and therefore inconvenient to work with, Soren Sorensen in 1909 proposed a more practical measure called pH. Uh, he proposed that the number in the exponent be used to express acidity. pH is a numerical value without units. P, lowercase, stands for uh, the word power. The power referred to is the exponential power. H stands for the concentration of hydrogen ions measured in moles per liter. Uh, you are probably familiar with uh, pH scale 2, which is a scale uh, running from 0 to 14, with uh, neutral substances uh, in the middle with pH 7, and with acidic and very acidic to the left, and basic and very basic to the right. pH is a uh, logarithm to base 10, meaning that every increase by one pH unit corresponds to a concentration decrease by a factor of 10. But what is pH? By definition, pH is the negative of the logarithm of the molar hydronium ion concentration. Formula pH negative log base 10 of H3O plus concentration or pH negative log base 10 of H plus concentration. Brackets stands for uh, concentration. A little uh, math background here for the concept. A logarithm log is just an exponent or a power. The common log of a number is the exponent to which you must raise 10 to equal the number. For example, logarithm base 10 of 100 is 1 is 2. 10 must be raised to power of 2 to get 100. In general, if a number is expressed as uh, y equal 10 to power of x, then log base 10 is just x. For example, log base 10 of 10 to power of 2 is the exponent 2. Notice that because of the negative sign in front of the log, the pH decreases as the concentration of hydrogen ions increases. So hydrogen ions goes up, pH goes down. So there is an inverse relationship between pH and hydrogen ion concentration. The same way we can find the formula for pOH, which is negative log of OH minus concentrations. The pH is easy to be calculated if the concentration is expressed in an exponential notation in which coefficient is 1.0. For example, if concentration of hydrogen ions is 1.0 times 10 to negative 11, then pH is just negative of the exponent. Negative of negative 11 is 11.00. So pH is 11.00. Why 11.00, not just 11? At this point, we need to discuss the significant digits for pH and pOH. The rule is the number of places after the decimal point in pH and pOH values equals the number of significant digits reported to the hydronium and hydroxide ion concentration. So we have two significant digits in the original number here and we need two significant digits after the decimal points here. These don't count in the pH and pOH calculations. Sample problem, calculate the pH of a solution in which hydronium ion concentration is 1.0 molar. Apply the formula, plug in the concentration, and we'll get 0, 0.00. Another sample problem, calculate the pOH in a solution where OH minus concentration is 2.8 times 10 to negative 14. We use the formula, negative log of OH minus, so we uh, press negative, then log, then uh, 2.8, EXP or EE in your calculator, negative 4, and you get the answer 3.55.
Another sample problem, calculate the pH of a solution of the nitric acid HNO3 with a molarity of 0.035. HNO3 is a strong acid which uh, dissociates completely in water, so the concentration of uh, hydrogen ions is 0.035. To find the pH, we uh, are using the formula. We can convert the molarity in a scientific notation by moving the decimal point and writing this as 3.5 times 10 to negative 3, or we just uh, enter in your calculator 0 0.0035 and you'll get the answer pH 2.46. Another simple way to find the pH when you know the pOH experimentally is proved that the uh, ion product constant of water Kw is uh, 1.0 times 10 to negative 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. This is important because this is a uh, temperature dependent value. According to the rules of the logarithms log of AB is log of A plus log of B. Find the logs of both sides here, and uh, we get the log of uh, 1.0 times 10 to negative 14 is negative 14. Multiply by minus 1, and we get log minus log of H3O plus plus negative log of OH minus equal 14. This gives you pH, and this one here gives you pOH, so pH plus pOH. 14. This is uh, another important formula we are using to solve problems in this video. Another sample problem, find the pH of a barium hydroxide solution whose hydroxide ion concentration is 0.3 molar. We begin by writing the ionic uh, equation for barium hydroxide, which is a strong base and is completely dissociated in water, producing barium ions and 2 OH minus. I have to multiply the concentration of the, the base here by 2 because we have 2 OH minus. So we get the concentration of uh, OH minus. Use the formula POH negative log of uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.22. We know now that pH plus POH is 14. Rearrange this uh, equation here and you get the pH equal 14 minus POH. 14 minus 0 0.22 is 13.8 molar. Or we can use another approach. We can use the water constant here. H plus times OH, which is the concentration of uh, hydroxide ions, 0 0.6, equal to 1.0 times 10 to negative 14. We solve for H plus concentration here by dividing this by 0 0.6, and we get the concentration 1.67 times 10 to negative 14 pH is negative log of uh, concentration and we get uh, at the end 13.8 molar. So we have the same result going through different ways, to different ways. Conversion from uh, pH to molar concentration. An anti-logarithm, abbreviated anti-log, is the inverse of the log base 10. The anti-log of any given number x is just the base 10 raised to that number. In general, the anti-log is expressed by 10 to the power of x, where x is any number. If the pH is given in a, formula, in a problem, we take the formula pH equal negative log of uh, h plus. We have to convert now this uh, equation from a log form into an exponential form. For that, we take the base and move it to the other side of the equal sign. And uh, negative pH is power now equal to hydrogen ion concentration, H3O plus concentration, and uh, remove the word log. Or you can write it uh, 10 to the power of negative pH, H plus concentration is the same thing. Uh, we can take another approach to solve for that. We get uh, we uh, multiply by negative 1 here and we get the uh, negative pH equal to log of H plus. Take the anti log of both sides and we have 10 to power of negative pH equal to 10 to log 
of uh, h plus. Logarithms and exponents cancel each other, and we have at the end the uh, hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 10 to negative pH. In the same way, OH minus concentration is equal to 10 to negative pOH. The sample problem, the pH of a sample of human blood was measured to be 7.41 at 25 degree Celsius. Calculate pOH, H plus concentration, OH minus concentration for the sample. What is given? pH is given. Required pOH, OH concentration, OH concentration, uh, H plus concentration. We know that uh, pH plus pOH is 14. pOH is 14 minus uh, the pH, which is given the value of pH here. 14 minus 7.41, 6.59 is the pOH. To find the H plus concentration, we use the formula. Formula H plus is uh, equal to 10 to negative pH. 10 to negative 7.41, which is given in the problem. And we have uh, 3.9 times 10 to negative 8. For the OH minus, we use the formula 10 to negative of pOH. OH minus 10 to negative 6.59. We got that here. And uh, by doing the, the calculation, we have 2.6 times 10 to negative 7 molar. Your turn. Calculate the pH of NaOH, which is a strong base solution, whose concentration is 1 molar. If your answer is uh, 14, your answer is correct. Thank you for watching the video.